What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today we got another install for you guys but this install is better than the last one i promise it's gonna be the evil suvi customs um rear diffuser i got the aggressive version um i hope i could get it done because as you can see it's kind of like it's drizzling out a little bit these guys don't look like they're too happy so hopefully it stays dry a little bit dry at least and I'm gonna get this installed today because I can't have mods laying around to tell you the truth. I'm 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 too desperate. But anyway, this is um, the Evil Subi Customs uh, rear diffuser. Um, it's the aggressive version uh, and uh, gloss black. That's what it is. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, guys. So these are the pieces you get. in color which is awesome it's gonna be great the hardware kit got the hardware kit and, uh, and I got the rest of the aggressiveness here so I'm gonna try to install this today and I'll show you guys step by step how to do this more links here these go together This is the hardware, I mean, uh, the hardware they provide, you know, generic stuff. The packaging is really, really good. Looks like nothing, nothing is damaged. That's a good thing. Let's see what we got here. Oh, these are like the fins that go in the back these are the fins aggressive very aggressive whoa pointy as hell gotta put a warning sign on my car now with all these uh, spikes I know this is the right here this is the rear this is what goes like right there or whatever and it has the evil evil Subi customs logo Looks pretty really awesome. This is the bottom piece. I don't know what they're called. But it goes like that. Right under. This is these two pieces. I think these are the covers for the mufflers. That go right under the mufflers. I don't have any mufflers, so. But I'll still use them. That's the under tray. I don't know what these pieces are called. I haven't looked at the instructions or anything, but yeah. That's the under tray that goes right under the diffuser, the OEM diffuser right there. Those are the two covers for the mufflers, which I don't have any, but I'm gonna use them anyway. This piece right here with the Evo Subi Customs logo. You can see it looks freaking awesome, bro. That's gonna go like, like something like that, I think. And uh yeah, this is all part of the hardware that's gonna go on that. And I'm gonna show you right now. The hardware, not not the hardware, um, all the bolts and note, nuts and bolts that they bring. Um, by the way, guys, this was, uh, again, Evo Subi Customs. I bought it from, it only took like two to three weeks. It was pretty damn fast that they made this. It's made to order. And uh, colored instructions, which is a plus. And another good thing, the customer service. While they were making it like i i ordered these in matte black like my boy um a roman racing for our youtube channel i'll put the link i don't know if i'm saying it right sorry about that angel but i'll put the link right here and uh yeah he has the mac black version uh yeah i was talking to him about it what version to get and options because they give you a couple of options on uh what you want to get or whatever but he helped me out, so thank you. And uh, I got the gloss black version, not the matte black, the gloss black version. But anyway, guys, let's get this um this installed. It's kind of starting to rain, but whatever. We're gonna get this done. I'm gonna jack up the car and get this uh, done step by step, and I'll show you guys. All right, let's go. So it's already raining, but the first thing you gotta do, guys, is uh, get these fins, these three fins, right? these two already come on the corners so you're gonna get three these three fins and you're gonna just bolt them down 
like that you know there's holes pre-made holes already here just line them up and bolt them down so the L for the first one from your left it's gonna you see this L right here it's gonna be facing towards your left these two the middle one here this middle one it's gonna face the right like the L shape it's gonna face the right and this one over here is gonna face the right also and you're just gonna use the provided hardware this bolt and uh, nut and you're gonna put the bolt through the bottom right here through the bottom and just screw them on that's the first thing you want to do next thing you want to do is get this end piece this piece right here I put it on already um, there should be three screws just like the ones you use here and uh, you just put them from the underside make sure they're all like the nut is on the same side like these so these come from the bottom side and make sure you put this in the right orientation so all three holes here and this one over here, the hole over here I gotta put the screw in lines up okay because if you put it the other way let's say upside down only this hole this hole is gonna align and the one at this end you want all three this one this one here and this one to align so that's the next thing we're gonna bolt on all right guys the next thing you want to do um, is jack up your car of course and you're gonna go under here and take remove two pop clips that are up here and you're gonna replace them with the bolts that they provide there should be two pop clips I'm assuming is this one here this clip and this clip here so you're gonna remove those two and insert um, the screw or whatever that they give you and throw it in there with the I mean the nut and bolt throw it in there from the inside out and yeah all right let's get that started all right guys once you get those uh, bolts in just like that that one there and that one right there the next thing you want to do is go to the sway bar the driver's side first so what you want to do it's right here that bolt right there you're gonna loosen that and you want to slide this bracket I don't know if you guys could see it freaking don't have enough space here slide it in like that in between so we'll be facing like that well I'm upside down right now so but you get the idea try it in the instructions you slide it in just like that and do the same thing for the passenger side and uh, just leave them there loose for now so you could adjust the diffuser later and that's it for this step I'm gonna get this done and then I'll show you the next step sorry it's a little hard to see but it goes right in there yeah so it's still raining out guys all right so let's see here show you what I the last parts again so you guys can see you see the brackets there I don't know if you can see that but they're loose and the other ones all the way over here they're loose so once you get that done what you gotta do is get that main panel right here this main panel and you're gonna slide it right under here again you're gonna slide it and you see those brackets how they have like a little piece that you're gonna slide it you're gonna slide the panel right in there have it rest right there and then align the holes that go here you know the previous bolts that you put on those two align them there and tighten them well don't tighten them all the way just leave them like loose just in case you have to adjust if the holes do not line up over there or whatever just you could bend those panels a little bit that says on the instructions all right guys i'm gonna do that right now i'm a one man camera guy because uh, I'm too desperate, I didn't want to wait for my wife to get out of work, so I'm gonna do this now. This, this, this is, too, this is, I'm putting in work, bros. Anyway, all right, guys. Once you get this piece on, and uh, you gotta throw the bolts there, and you have to put the bolts all the way down there. At the end, you wanna put this piece right here. This piece right here, it goes just like this. Pretty sure it goes just like this. So right here this cutout is for the mid pipe I think it is 
it falls right in there that just this thing just diverts the air under the car and it goes just like that right in the middle at the bottom all the way down there it's hard for me to show you guys because again i'm trying to do this by myself record it and install it by myself but so far i got this and uh we'll go from there let me just get that piece on it's just two the two short bolts they go right here one right here one at the end and right here is a smaller hole if you can notice just use one of the smallest bolts and nuts that they, that they give you and that's it and then we can move on to the next part i'm gonna do this right now it's still raining but still this, this is looking awesome it really is the next thing you got to do is do the side panels so you're gonna get one of these panels here and you see the holes one right there one right there you're gonna align it with the bottom holes down here that your um not the bumper but yeah kind of the bumper has there's holes already here you don't have to make holes then use the provided push clips these things and uh just tag them on that's it there's no holes to be drilled there's holes already under your your bumper and again i don't have the jdm uh splash guards or whatever the heck they call the, the spats i don't have them so if you have them then you need another piece it's a different piece um that they give you but yeah i'm gonna put this on and uh we'll move on to the next step i haven't tightened anything yet i'm gonna tighten everything at the end look at that oh that's looking it's fucking awesome bros love this thing aggressive as hell i got the aggressive version yeah, I almost got poked in the eye already by one of these when I was down there. It actually poked me on the nose. So yeah, they should have a warning sign. I should put a little warning sign right there. Warning, spiky or something. But anyway, guys, once you have this size, these size pieces on, all you got to do is put the, these. These are the bottom pieces for your exhaust. Obviously, I got muffler deletes, so I don't have any exhaust, but I'm going to put them on anyway. And they go right under here like that. They go just like that. And they'll have like little holes on the side. And you just bolt them on with the smaller bolts you got there. I haven't tightened down anything like I said before. But I'm just going to put these on. And then I'll tighten down everything at the end. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. But right now. Woo, freaking sexy as fuck. Mean as fuck. Aggressive as fuck. And dangerous at the same time. So I got to be careful with my daughter. It doesn't get close to, too close to the back of this car. All right, guys, I'm going to do this, and I'll show you the final product. All right, guys, cold day. It's raining, but it ain't going to stop me from freaking installing mods on my car. I'm too crazy. But here it is, guys. It's all said and done. This is what the Evo Suvi Customs rear diffuser looks like. It has a little emblem there. There it is. I think it looks freaking awesome. It's freaking aggressive as hell and uh yeah i almost poked my eye out like three times so uh yeah that's the evil subi customs i got another mod that i gotta install hopefully tomorrow i'll make another video for that and uh we'll go from there because today's an ugly ass day it's raining but oh well i got it done that's the whole point so like comment and subscribe guys check out my instagram i do a lot of behind the scenes there i have i've i'm really active on on there i post a lot of pictures of the car and, and updates so uh yeah follow me on Ho uh, holy fuck on instagram and i'll see you guys on the next one thank you for watching guys yeah.